Hi everyone, I once again welcome you all to the Social Trigger. Recently, we all have seen how right to education is being disrespected in this country when the two of the most popular exam, UGC NET and NEET paper leaks cases have been emerged. So recently, I had an opportunity to speak to NewsX online and Money Control on this issue. So let me show you that enriching, uh, insightful discussion which I have had on the news channel. And Mansi, but also joining us on the broadcast is Shivam Bajaj, another uh, net aspirant who's recently given the examination. I would also like to ask you, how long have you been preparing for? What's the kind of effort uh, that you have put in and how do you receive the news of the re-examination? Uh, first of all, good morning, everyone, and thank you for this opportunity. Uh, students like us, students like myself, really need a platform for someone to hear them. And when I hear this, when I heard this news, read this news in the morning itself, it was, it was heartbroken. I was heartbroken. I mean, I had prepared for. It was my second attempt for net, and uh, and it was a it was an OMR sheet evaluation method which was chosen. And first of all, I I I think. This is this should not be the case this time because last time it was a computer based exam and it was not at all done in a phased out manner. But instead, uh, like my colleague also said, like instead all the subjects were taken this time in a pen and paper mode, which is OMR sheet as they call it. Uh, right to education is is quite essential. I mean, it's for everyone and everyone has the right. And if such cases of paper leaks continue to happen under any governments whatsoever. This is a major, uh, major drawback of for any authority who is in power, any government. And uh, I also believe that uh, safeguarding the question paper is more important than safeguarding the government officials because they've already, they are already getting safeguarded with a lot of security in place. But I don't think that security is coming to question papers. That's what the leaks, leaks are taking place. Uh, so I it have... should not happen. Indeed, and, and I have another question with regards to, uh, you know, the probe that is taking place. Uh, now, the centre has ordered a CBI probe into this matter. How confident are you that it will uh, yield appropriate results in the officials, that the NTA officials uh, that have in, indulged in negligence and malpractice uh, will be held accountable? Uh, looking at looking at the... Uh probe which is being ordered, I frankly do not think that's going to resolve in a very short amount of time because we all know amount of pending cases we all are having. We all know the amount of legal justice people in India get, especially students get. So I don't think this will resolve in maybe less than eight to nine months. It can take also, it can also take one year or two years at max. Uh, what I would request from the government and I would need from the government, uh, obviously I'm representing all my students here, all the students who gave the exam, for my, not for my subject, but for all subjects, they should at least provide us uh, some kind of counselling because a lot of students, including me, I'm a working professional, a lot of students and working professionals who were about to get admissions into PhDs and their uh, a lectureship, PhDs, and get better job opportunities, but I don't know what will happen now. So government should give some relaxations in terms of admissions to universities, colleges, and this probe should really, really speed up. It's, it's need of the hour. And uh, one because last... Six to eight months, Indeed, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. I was telling six to eight months, I can surely see that it it will not get resolved before that. And but it's truly disheartening. So you think it will all return back to square one next year as well? And and what is your message to your fellow net aspirants? Those who, are, of course, are looking at uh, going and taking on positions of being lecturers and teaching the next yeah. generation of students. Uh, like I said, this is the perfect, not the perfect. I mean, this is the bad example of how right to education is being practiced and it is being uh, imbibed by the students, I mean, in terms of paper leaks. Uh, the only message uh, I can give to, say, other students is that uh, 
just keep we should just we should not lose lose hope because uh, at last we are in a democracy and the world runs on hope and if we we can just hope that justice come justice will come justice will prevail and we should not uh, i mean stop preparing i do agree that uh, being a working professional i am sure a lot of people in fact the center i gave exam in there were about 1000 to 1500 people who were giving exam on the same day on different subject most of them were for journalism and mass communication the my my subject which i gave paper for so we should not stop preparing and uh, uh, there are a lot of online modes online courses but still i i, I think we should not lose hope yes it will take time it will take a lot of time uh because the thing is if this would have come before the elections is what i believe this case would have been fast track but since elections are over the government is in place this will take a lot of time like normally uh so i think we should wait and watch what it what like what justice comes to us for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon So that was an interaction uh, which I had with NewsX. Thank you for watching that. I hope you like the points which I shared. In case I miss some of it, you can mention those in the comment section. But I really hope uh, all the students, including myself, get justice in this matter. And I've also recently heard that there is one more examination which UGC has not cancelled but postponed. So. Uh, I just can think and imagine the intensity uh, UGC and NTA is going through right now the NTA national testing agency but I also feel that uh, the update of NTA's DG uh, getting removed from his position I think the government is thinking about this matter and doing something about it but uh, and that gives us some hope but let's see what happens next uh till then thank you so much for watching do like the video and share with your friends uh, your uh, uh, aspirants which you are uh, your friends who are aspirants who were aspirants for these of these are the two premier examinations and i really want for this video to reach to the masses so that people can really uh, know participate engage share this further so that we can Uh, get some justice thank you so much